Hello and welcome to Infinity. I'm going to do a composite uh, now, which I got blending two images together. Uh, it's something I've been asked about a number of times. So here's a kind of full edit of one. So I've got this picture here. I want to put in this something which is going to be, I'm going to go to file and place. And I'm going to use this. It's a, it's a picture that I already cut out from another image. And because I don't place, I get to draw this and I've got the snap on so I'll just snap it in from the edge there right and we can see from here we've got a number of issues with this it's just too dark the coloring is wrong and we've got look at the edging effects around the here so what can we do um, also by the way this edge the little dark line around here to get rid of those dark lines around things, there is a special thing which sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. So I'm going to look in here first so I can see a bit of the hair and a bit around there. So I go to Filters, Colours, and Remove Black Matte. And look, magically it takes this away. However, it can leave behind a kind of bit of a white line but to get rid of white lines you also do filters colors and remove white mat that puts back the original so you have to choose here as to which one is going to work best uh, for this so i'm going to undo undo these and i'm going to work on this in particular here just an example of how to handle this rather tricky situation and the basic solution is to clone it it's a very simple way of of working on it so if i i could do it directly on this layer but i'm going to put in a new layer so that i can always go backwards if i need to and then in this layer i need the clone brush tool and in there i want the source to be selected as current layer and below so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to alt click in the hair here and paint up here to paint on this. But the thing is, this is going off out into the middle there. So we want to be able to constrain that. So I go to control Z. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, this layer with the image in and I'm going to set a constraint. I'm going to go up so you can see what's happening here and then go to select and selection from layer and when I do that it looks at the edge of this layer and puts a selection around it like this so now I'm now constraining any painting to within that space so if I go around here and this will also be feathered at the edges if needed so I can go, go to my pixel layer now Alt click down here and paint up to there but this will stop it going over the edges and it'll keep it fairly sensible so I can just now go around this and just carefully kind of go down all of this and fudge it in if it's if it's getting a little bit on the you can see edges to it just do a little bit more bits in it and so on so just the normal sort of cloning but see nicely because it's a cutout i got myself an edge to say don't go beyond this so i'll quickly follow finish off that and i'll get back to you shortly okay so there we go i've been around the edge there i've tidied that up here and if i go out now to look at this i hit Control d don't need that selection anymore but I can always put it back on again if I need it now what I'm going to do is look at the shading across here it's, it's rather dark on one side and a bit light to the other and so um, what I'm going to do here is actually this pixel layer where I've done the edge painting on I don't need I don't, I'm not going to change that again so I'm just going to blend it in so that it helps with adding other layers so I just do merge down and there it is and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a uh, curves on this and I'm just going to look at the left hand side of this picture and 
turn up the brightness here to make that a lot brighter. I know this side is too bright, so I can just put a gradient across as a mask. So to do this, make sure that I've got the curves layer selected there. Go along to the gradient tool. And if I move, move along here, see there's a little green thing comes there because it's detected the edge of that layer. And so I only need to go across here and it'll say there's another snap point over there. So this is the gradient wrong, so I need to adjust that. So actually I'm going to reverse it because that side is what I want to change. And in fact there I'm going to change that to black. So now that it's applied that curve more on the left side and less on the right side. And I can perhaps play with this a little bit more to see whether this, to get that a, about even. I can even go back up to here and take that middle point and drag that backwards and forwards. I'm looking for the evenness now overall. So I need a little bit of light on this side, but not so much. So that's okay. Uh, get in another curves layer, just to give a little bit more control and and brighten that up. It's in the wrong place up there, so I'm going to put it back down to this one. There we go. So now I've got the colour sorted, the well, the, the brightness sorted, the colour is what I want to do next. So I'm going to go to here, put in another curves layer, and look at what colours I want to change. Well, there's various ways you can play with colour on this, but the, what I'm going to do with this is, is a little bit of intuitive thing which is to say, and I'm just going to grab the picker here just to show you. If I go over to the grass here, and look, you've got a uh, green is the highest, but then red's not far behind, which gives you a bit of, of yellow. So I'd like to, if I use yellow, there's yellow in the background, so I'll put a bit more yellow into this bit image. And what else? The sky up there. The sky is in the bluer areas and the blue there will give a bit more blue light around. Here you've got blue is the highest and then green so there's a bit of cyan. So I need to add a bit of cyan and yellow. So just if I'm in RGB uh, all I'll do here is go to red and the opposite of red is cyan. So if I pull the red down and this will add cyan. You go too far and it looks terrible. You've got to really watch skin doing this. So this is going to be a little tweak here. And uh, then I also wanted to add yellow and the opposite of yellow is blue. And so again, I'm going to, if I go upwards, I make it blue. But if I come downwards, it adds a little bit of yellow into it. So it makes that colouring here match the background a bit better. You can do a lot more on this sort of thing, but that's a very simple way of colour matching. And then what else do we need to do here? Well, I can actually go to the background here and I can put something on there as well. So let's stick to curves. Don't want to make things too complicated. And I'm just going to darken off the background here. You notice if I go too far, then that's clearly wrong. And it's clearly wrong there, so I need to just bring it down. I'm just going to bring it down because it's already a little bit on the bright side. So I'm going to bring it down a little bit to match that in more. And there you go. You can do more work on this, but in a relatively simple, quick set of, of moves, we have gone from, just turn off those. That was the original. And then we got to there which I think is a bit of a better match. Anyway, that's it, and thank you very much for watching.